Microsoft's giving us more details about the Xbox Velocity architecture and tossing a little shade at Sony as well. As we roll downhill towards the launch of the next generation Xbox, Microsoft is continuing to dribble out information regarding the features and functionality that you can expect when Anaconda or the Series X does arrive. Obviously, later this month on the 23rd, we're going to have a gaming event and it's ex the expectations are right now that in August, we're going to hear about the Series S, which is the Lockhart console. Now, Microsoft released information today on the Velocity architecture, and they released a video which I'm going to play here while I tell you some of the finer details that you need to know to better understand what exactly it is. Now, Microsoft has already told us that it has a 1 terabyte NVMe, NVMe SSD in the Series X with 2.4 gigabytes of raw I.O. throughput. That is more than 40x the Xbox One. I believe Microsoft has already talked about that a little bit here, but what is new is that Microsoft is saying that the, the drive, that, that 1 terabyte NVMe SSD, is designed for consistent and sustained performance as opposed to peak performance. That is Microsoft verbatim right there. Remember, Sony loves to talk about the peak performance, not necessarily the sustained, and Microsoft across the entire Xbox has talked about sustained performance, and that includes the drive, which Microsoft provides the, the developer a guaranteed level of performance at all times, which is a big deal, uh, especially for the high capacity and high throughput that Microsoft is delivering. They're also saying the Xbox Series X delivers 4.0 gigabytes in IO performance thanks to its hardware accelerated decompression. So while 2.4 gigabytes uh, per second is the raw IO, with their hardware accelerated decompression, that effect effectively is doubled, effectively of doubles, which means it, they get 100 times the I.O. performance of the current generation consoles. So that is a massive jump in performance, but it gets a little bit better than that. They are saying their sampler feedback streaming, which SFS is what it is, uh, has 2.5 the effective I.O. throughput and memory usage above and beyond the raw hardware capabilities on average through the use of specialized hardware. And that specialized hardware is going to enable developers to do a lot more with the GPU than they could previously thanks to Microsoft's proprietary sampler feedback streaming system. This is all pretty technical stuff but what it boils down to is that the xbox velocity architecture is significantly significantly faster than what is available today in the xbox one not that big of a surprise on every single front also microsoft is really continuing to hype up sustained performance not peaks and troughs but developers are going to have one target benchmark across the entire platform that is going to make games faster to load and easier to use one of the challenges and things that developers would do with the prior bandwidth limitations is that, hey, hallways might be narrow in a game. That way they could unload the previous assets and start to load new assets while only having to focus on a single hallway. That kind of goes away because of the instantaneous loading that is now capable with the new velocity architecture and the sampler feedback streaming and the hardware decompression and effectively the doubling of the raw throughput thanks to onboard uh, decompression techniques. What Microsoft is trying to get the point across here is that it's not just a raw CPU game. While Microsoft invested a lot of money to get a custom chip from AMD with the Zen 2 and the RDNA 2 and have all that effects, that is only one minor component in the much bigger scheme of the Xbox Series X. They didn't just put in a new CPU and a new GPU and a new solid state drive. They actually, the webbing that is connecting all this together is significantly improved that is going to make games just better in general. Microsoft is a, trying to reduce the bottlenecks. That is why they are so like keen on sustained because bottlenecks, as you know, bottleneck the performance, but not when you have sustained performance, you don't have to worry about that as a developer. This is a pretty big deal and Microsoft is smart to start talking about the more technical aspects of how the console is built to show how they are achieving their level of performance and why performance won't drop. We've all been in games where you're like, oh God, the frame rate just took a dive. Microsoft is combating that with this sustained performance model rather than the peak model that Sony is using. It's a smart move. We are obviously going to have to see how everything shakes out uh, with how developers utilize this new level of performance. Also, just look at this video again. Like Microsoft is getting much, much better at their marketing uh, stuff this time around. Just putting together nice clips and trailers and animations that really dive into the technical components without sort of being overweighted on different aspects that might not be too, you know, the TV stuff um, that aren't, that detract from it. But I mean, Microsoft has going all out with their animations, with their marketing. They aren't really holding back and they're not afraid to call out Sony either. While they didn't specifically say, 
Sony in this uh, post. They do talk about peak performance and that is absolutely dedicated to what is Sony talks about when they bring their stuff up. Now, obviously the thing we've gotta be worried about here is pricing is that Microsoft went all out with their console. The pricing is the big thing that needs to be addressed. Obviously it, there were some rumors out yesterday that the PS5 was gonna be about 499, which is right in line with what everybody's expectations were. We're still waiting to see where the Series X is going to land because if it's too much more money than the PS5, we know how that plays out, but Microsoft is not dense. They've gone all out with the hardware. I can't imagine that they're gonna screw it up with the pricing.